Romelu Lukaku is on his way out of Manchester United and he's on his way to Inter Milan. An agreement has now been reached between Inter Milan and Man United for Romelu Lukaku. More in the region of the 70 to 80 million pounds that Manchester United have been holding out for. And Inter Milan have come up and paid the money. And Lukaku's leaving after what has been a petulant summer. From what is United's record attacking signing, awful way for him to go out. Really unprofessional, I'll mention that later on. But United, at 20, what, less than 24 hours now before the transfer deadline closes, are about to sell one of our most important attackers on paper. And are we going to sign a replacement or are we going to rely on Mason Greenwood, the 17-year-old coming up through the academy to replace him? Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But this Lukaku situation, all summer long, has been ugly. Lukaku during the preseason, had loads of niggling injuries. No, he didn't. He didn't want to play football for United anymore. He was trying to force a move. And it worked for him in the end, but he, he went about it in the wrong way. Right now, he's out in Belgium training with Anderlecht. And the reason he's doing that is because he's been frozen out of United by Solskjaer after his behaviour. And that tweet that went out, which had, I think, the running stats from one of the preseason games, Solskjaer was like, nah. I don't want you around this team anymore. Leave. But with Inter, it was a to and fro situation. They didn't want to pay the money. United were holding out. And I thought it would actually have been a little bit less money now that it was obvious that Solskjaer had fallen out with Lukaku. But I don't really care how or why it's happened. I just wanted Lukaku to leave. And it's a real shame for him because he's not going to get a bigger club than United. Sorry. Inter Milan, he'll be great Inter Milan, I think. Because it's a, it's a slower less intense league and a player like Lukaku will just clean up goals. But for United, sending Lukaku, the right thing to do. He didn't suit this style of play that Solskjaer is trying to in implement into the team. This fast, free-flowing, dynamic movement didn't suit a player like Lukaku. And when so much is said this summer about Paul Popper and him saying he wanted a new challenge, what are we going to then say about Lukaku? The man who's called Antonio Conte the best coach in the world and then said he was his dream to play in Serie A. The man who refused to come back to training with United. A bit like when Di Maria refused to get on the plane. Fuck him. Fuck Lukaku. And let's move on. But United now have got a day to sign a Lukaku replacement. That is a bit scary. Because I'm not sure we're going to be able to do that at all. Who would that be? Not Fernando Llorente on a free which I've seen banded about. And that's terrifying. Let me know in the comments below who you would want to get in as a replacement for Lukaku. But United surely have to. Because last year, we were lacking going forward and we had Lukaku as an option. Take him out of the equation. Our options are even less. Sure, Rashford, Martial and Greenwood maybe. They're going to improve and Greenwood hopefully come through and score some goals himself. But we need a new attacker, surely. And we need at least one central midfielder, surely. And there's less than 24 hours to go in this transfer window. I really wanted this summer to be the one where we could sit there on the last day, transfer deadline day, feet up, and enjoy watching the circus of everybody else. But United is the biggest circus this summer. And the Lukaku situation is the prime example of that. He's acted so unprofessionally. And I can just close the book on him and forget the couple of seasons he had at United. Just a ridiculous way for him to behave. And I'm sure he's going to come out and defend himself once the move's all complete. But Fabrizio Romano, he's saying, here we go. The agreement has been reached. And Lukaku, goodbye. He is leaving United. And we've now got one day to sign a replacement. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Because it's transfer deadline day tomorrow. Going to be doing more of these sort of informal, quicker videos because there's going to be too many things going on. So make sure you drop a like on the video. And if you're new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe. Till next time though, take it easy.